It's time to get serious about storing your figures. Spiky bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and I love big miniatures. <laughs> I love to paint them, I love to store them, and as you can see, or have probably seen in the past, we do have some display cases here in the studio. Now, today's video, I'm gonna talk about one of two cases I bought recently from Ikea. They are a bit more pricier than these, the classic uh, Deltoff, I think they are. The Deltoff, 60 bucks. They're still available from, well, they were 60 bucks, but they're still available from Ikea. And you can get the lights, um, I think they're called Deodor, that uh, come, uh, they don't come with it. They're like an extra 30, $40, which I feel like isn't worth it because I'm gonna show you this LED kit that you can buy that you can use. It's will work just fine with these, but I didn't wire those up. I wired up a case across the room that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna grab my camera and uh, and take over there because this uh, display case I found at Ikea, I didn't really find it, it's been there for a while and I've just been wondering about it. Uh, it seems like it will fit most of the Games Workshop miniatures that they've produced, even King Fatty over there himself. So we're gonna play around with it. Let's check it out. So when COVID hit, probably, you know, just like a lot of other people out there, I got, you know, I got kind of stir crazy. I wanted to like do things around the house. Turns out I wasn't the only one with that idea. And Ikea was just, while it did eventually open up, uh, the warehouse was slammed. Like it, there was nothing, nothing to find and buy. And I was really mad because I drove like two hours <laughs> to go to Charlotte and they didn't have quite as much well as they normally do obviously supply chain issues but that aside they were super friendly and you know they, nobody was there was it was fine it was a good experience I was just a little mad that I didn't look online at, at these things but what I did find was uh, a lot of cool leads on the things that maybe I would want to buy later on and it turns out that they were actually offering delivery at the time now I'm not sure that they are right now this actually says it's in stock now in, in uh, Charlotte which is cool, right? So this is the case I was talking about uh, that I picked up. Well, one of two. We're only going to cover one today. This is called the Fabric Core case. You can't see it because my stupid face is in the way. But it's 169. You're probably like 169. You know, those ones you just showed me over there are 60 bucks. True, 100 percent true. Um, this one's designed a little bit better. It's it's metal. Uh, it has you know you can self adjust the um, the feet at the bottom. Although the door still doesn't, still swings, unfortunately. But maybe more importantly is that uh, the whole thing is metal for the most part. So you can do a lot of cool things like with magnets or, um, you know, just run uh, LEDs in it as well. And I found an LED kit that worked great and got it all wired up. You've probably seen it over on Instagrams. So well, let's talk about the fabric core real quick. It's 169. It cost me $129 to have this and another case delivered to my house. It took about two weeks not a big deal they were super friendly you know um uh, no big deal getting the stuff i mean I, I had to have an extra person not for this but for the other one uh was actually had a really heavy box so uh this comes in two different colors you got the black uh kind of was black green and a pale gray green now i definitely recommend the black or the dark gray excuse me um, to kind of go uh, with, you know, it's gamer friendly, right? So here you can kind of see about the size. It is, um, let's see, where is the different sizes? It's about five feet tall, if I recall. Here it is, product size. So product size is gonna be, of course it's in centimeters. So 59 inches, so roughly, uh, what is that? Five feet tall, give or take. And the width is kind of where it's important. So from not the inside dimensions, it's 18 inches uh, by three quarters. Maximal load on a shelf is 22 inch, 22 pounds, which is gonna be super important here in a minute. And <laughs> so you got a depth of 18 and a half, a width of 22 and a half, and that hopefully will allow us to store any Games Workshop miniature out there that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, we'll find out because we're gonna, we're gonna load them all up in this thing. Let's look at the LED kit I used um, because it's super cheap and very easy to use as well. Okay, so here it is. Um, it's just a random LED kit. I'll link it in here. It's $20.99. You can see, you mm, can't really see the parts, unfortunately. Let's see if we can, yeah, there we go. We can move this over. So it's gonna come with six of these uh, st strips, these LED strips right here, which is super important because they're 20 inches long. So you can kind of start planning things out, but it comes with these little hoppers, right? 
that are uh, roughly four, uh, four inches long and these ones here which are roughly two inches long. This is the dimmer so you can turn it on and off at the base of you know your case or whatever this plugs into the wall and you got a remote where it's got some really cool features like 100 percent light which is really blinding it's super bright it's it's so bright you won't need anything else uh 50 75 percent there's a night light feature which really isn't much brighter than well most lights you're going to have in your house at low power during the night anyway so if it if it's um if it's you're worrisome about it's too bright you can adjust it but where it's going to come into play is if you have multiples of these cases using multiples of these remotes then it's going to start to get a little dicey so you might have to push the button on the top of the case to you know just turn them off at night or something like that or you can get a completely different remote that actually uh, it's like a christmas tree remote where it has multiples and you can just turn them on and off from one remote i use that in my bedroom to turn on my fan or turn off my, my light so I don't have to get up out of bed because I'm lazy. And here's the Fabricor case uh, installed in a corner, all assembled, ready to go. It's, you know, about five feet tall. Like I'm actually holding the camera up, so about my normal height, so you can kind of get an idea. You can put stuff on top of it. You know, it's got this nice uh, beveled edge right here, so you can actually, like, things will fit. Here's the remote for the LEDs that I've installed, and there's the, uh, uh, I forget what they call that, but the the thing that you plug into and it's actually a kind of an auxiliary power switch and then I've got all the cords taped down on the back and then it goes into its own outlet right there so you know design wise it's a cool case you know for the price uh, we've already talked about that I think it's pretty good but just keep in mind that you do need to be a little careful with this thing because these panes of glass are actually uh, well, they're by they're basically whole pieces, right? So they're they're kind of um, sandwiched in here with these little metal clips. So basically, the only thing holding this piece of glass in here, this tempered uh, tempered glass, by the way. So this will crack. One little crack will turn into a thousand little micro cracks, which you know could be a thing. So you got to protect the sides. It's where you know it's the it's the most vulnerable. But they're basically just held in here with these little uh, tabs that are pushed down, uh, and then at the top. Actually, no, that's not this one at all. So that is all that is holding it in. And at the bottom, there's a little bit of a brace too. But it's a, it's an interesting design. It seems to have held up well uh, so far. I have no beef with it. Uh, the door itself uh, is not level. The case is level. I've checked it. The door uh, still swings wide. And it might be because of this hinge construction over here. Now, are you gonna get dust in the case? Well, there's this little crack at the top. The side is not, there's not that big of a crack right here. The rest of the case is pretty much sealed for the most part. Um, some stuff might come up through the bottom right here. There's these little tabs that you can barely see. But other than that, I don't think unless you have like a super airflow through your house, you're gonna have any issues with that. Now over here where the hinge is because of the design of the hinge, it's gonna actually get in uh, this space right here pretty pretty stoutly like you can see that's the biggest uh, space right there so what I recommend is you know it's the same with the Deltoff cases that you might have you're gonna have to take your minis out probably once a year and maybe you know wipe down the glass I actually spritz it with a little canned air probably two or three times a year just to kind of uh, get things moving in the flow in there and then you know just kind of pull everything out dust it um, and, and hit it with some glass cleaner. And then other than that, you know, I haven't had any buildup issues or, or anything here in the past. Now, measurement wise, we already talked about how, how big this case is and what I hope to put in here. So I'll kind of stack that up and show you uh, here in a few minutes what all we can get in there. But looking up at the wiring of this is kind of what I want to show you. So we already talked about, about how these are uh, 20 inch sections and you can see where I have uh, kind of pulled it in from the corner and then wired it right here. And then we went and a crisscross over to this corner and then down the side and then across the bottom, which the only reason I did that is <laughs> because normally you'll get blasted by LEDs, but because the way this is here, the LED is actually uh, bracketed by this little bottom piece right here. So we went across and then we went up this side and then we crisscrossed as much as we could to the center right there. We didn't get all the way, but I think it's okay. Now, here's the key. Uh, we're, here, here's the cheat, here's the hack. You have to actually use those little uh, bracket pieces. So we went 
uh, right here. And where is the other ones that I use? So I went down, went down. Oh, there's a bracket piece at the bottom. So we extended it right here with one of the little four inch bracket pieces. And then over here, we used one of the larger ones. So you just kind of have to, let's see, that's a, oh, that's a six inch one. So a six inch one right there. And I'm looking around and a six inch one up here. So there's a six inch one right here. So what you're gonna do is just install it just like you normally would. And then you're gonna have to put a four inch one about right here and six inch one about over here on this side. And then once you get up into here, yeah, you're good and it'll clear and you'll get almost to over here. Now, how bright is it? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure how this is gonna show on, uh, on the video, but it is bright as all get out normally. So I'm gonna turn it on and put it at 100% power. That is 100, oh, there's 100% power. <laughs> Total ultimate power, no, let's crank it down to 50. Uh, 50 is a little bit easier and then nighttime, it actually has a nighttime sensor, which is kind of cool. Um, that's about normal like what a nightlight would put off or something like that. So the night the night sensor is actually the night setting is actually pretty good. But for I think most stuff like during the day, you would just bam and just kind of blast it. So let's load this thing up and see exactly what we can fit in here. Because <laughs> I got a few ideas. And uh since this is gonna stay in the corner right here. So here I've loaded it up with uh, some of my guard tanks. Now, the thing I liked about uh, this particular case the most is that the long corner-to-corner uh, -corner piece or measurement is about 22 inches. So in theory, I can get some really big models in here that I wouldn't normally be able to get in a case like a Del Toff or uh, even that uh, other bigger one that I'm gonna show you in a different video. So the uh, diagonal is about 22 inches, like I was saying. And what that is gonna do is probably allow for what I hope is some of the larger Titans as well as a Thunderhawk. Now the Thunderhawk measures 19 uh, long by 17 wide. So in theory, diagonally at least, it should fit in this case. I don't have one to try it out because I had to sell mine, but Maybe I'll get around to uh, to picking up a kit and uh, trying it out. But uh, it's good to have a max capacity, I suppose, uh, when you need it. So these are interchangeable with these little uh, pegs right here. We can pull these out and adjust uh, the three shelves up or down or perhaps take one out or stack them on the bottom. Um, so let's see what uh, kind of bigger models we can fit in here. Close, closed over, close. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. Titans. <laughs> okay, so we did it. Uh, who knew? So the official word on the street is that the weight limit on the shelf is 22 pounds. So obviously Big Chongo goes on the bottom at that point, but these guys shouldn't be 22 pounds. I mean, I feel like I could curl him at least twice. So that means it's uh, what? Five pounds, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, we've got the Reaver and the Warhound up on the top shelf. They seem to be pretty stable even, you know, well, besides the construction of the arms, uh, they, they seem to be pretty stable otherwise. And then the Warlord on the bottom with a lot of space to clear with his weapons right there. And we've got a cat uh, checking things out. Uh, so we can even magnetize or even lower down uh, the shelf a little bit more if we uh, really need to right there. So that worked out quite well. So I feel like besides the Phantom Titan, which actually would fit in there more, uh, it's just a tad bit taller than this. So this actually might be the right height. Um, you might even be able to get a Phantom Titan in here with two Revenant Titans, now that I think about it. So whether you're Eldar or Marines, if you need to fill up a case with your Titans, uh, this might just be the one-stop uh, case for you that will literally fit all of Forge World's uh, models and keep them safe and relatively dust-free for, you know, as long as you uh, want a storm right there. So that is it. Oh, wait, I got one more thing before you leave. Let's talk about this real quick. So depending on how many of these cases you get and how many of these light sets, because uh, I'll give you a spoiler alert, the bigger case that you've probably already seen on our Instagram has two of these light sets in it, which is kind of annoying when you think about it because then you've got two sets of remotes uh, for them exactly. Now, I bought this off of Amazon. It's a remote control. There's three of them that you plug lights into. So what you can do is have it set up with two of your light kits and then you basically will turn them off with one remote and then perhaps you have a third one, something like this over on the other side of the room. You can also control 
I use this in my bedroom to turn off my light at night because it's on the other side of the room and also the fan on and off. So with one remote bottom of my nightstand, I can turn on my lights, I can turn off my fan and all sorts of different things. And it seems like that would be a good idea uh, for these cases as well. So I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna have two lights on the other one. So this will really come in handy. And I'm pretty sure it was inexpensive too. I will link that and this LED set and a link to uh, all that stuff at Ikea that you're gonna need, which is just this case here and probably a delivery fee generally, you know, because uh, the way the world is right now. So that is it for this one. We're out of here. We did it. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video on how to LED and, uh, you know, some of the best miniature cases out there. We will be doing another one on spoiler alert, this case right here. Uh, this has a lot of room and we will probably be able to fit majority of your collection slash armies in this one, but it's not quite ready to go. We're going to show you this one and come back to that one in a future video. So thank you again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.